surprise, Ed Sheeran shocking a fan in Edmonton, joining her on stage for a duet, and we get her reaction. But kicking things off this morning is Bono, who sparked a frenzy in our nation's capital. A rock star welcome. I always say this, but I, I, I really believe it. The world needs more Canada's. The U2 frontman was in Ottawa yesterday in part to support a cause that's close to his heart, maternal and child health in Africa and beyond. He met with PM Stephen Harper, Liberal leader Justin Trudeau and NDP leader Tom Mulcair. The singer will be back at Montreal's Bell Centre tonight for the third of U2's four straight concerts. The band returns to Canada July 6th, kicking off back-to-back sold-out shows at Toronto's ACC. Also touring the country right now is Ed Sheeran, who surprised 13-year-old Sydney Bourbeau by joining her on stage at the West Edmonton Mall over the weekend. Bourbeau tells Edmonton's dinner television she also got a special message from Sheeran's manager. I was like, hey, Sydney, would you like to come to the show? And he's like, yes. <laughs> and so he's like, okay, we'll just leave the tickets at Will Call. And then I opened the envelope, and it was floor seating front row. And I was just like, oh, my God. What's happening, Ed? Sheeran is in Saskatoon tonight before playing Calgary and Vancouver later this week. Winnipeg Zone Jonathan Taves hoisted the Stanley Cup as the Chicago Blackhawks blanked the Tampa Bay Lightning 2 zip to become the NHL champs for the third time in six years. Vince Vaughn was there cheering on the victors, along with John Cusack, who tweeted this pick titled simply Cup. And William Shatner and Mr. T are congratulating the Blackhawks on their win. And a celebration of a different kind at Disneyland, where Kim Kardashian and Kanye West's daughter North celebrated her second birthday with a bash fit for Minnie Mouse. Jurassic World smashes yet another box office record. We told you yesterday how it banked the biggest ever global opening, but now the official count for our continent is in, and the blockbuster making history. The numbers are crunched and the dinos are indeed on top, scoring North America's biggest ever opening with a nearly $209 million haul, edging out the now former record holder, the Avengers, by roughly a million and change. As Jurassic World scares off the competition at the box office, the star of the reboot, well, he's shaking in his boots after YouTube pranksters caught Chris Pratt by surprise. <laughs> Did you know like this? Yeah. You scared me. Oh, this is great. You have camera. I came in like a It's official. Anna Kendrick and Rebel Wilson have signed on for Pitch Perfect 3. Here we go, yo. Here we go, yo. Kendrick gave a triple finger salute and a wink on Instagram, confirming she's in. Catch the next musical installment July 21st, 2017. And Angelina Jolie is reportedly in talks to reprise her villainous role in a Maleficent sequel. Oh, well. According to Deadline, details of a follow-up are being conjured up. To the small screen now, an uprising is brewing as Tyrant makes its season two premiere tonight. At the CSAs earlier this year, one of the drama's stars, Montreal's own Jennifer Finnegan, dished on where new episodes are being filmed. Yeah, and this year's going to be different. It's Budapest and occasionally Morocco, which I'm super psyched about. Last year, of course, production had to relocate from Tel Aviv to Istanbul as a real-life conflict broke out. You can catch Tyrant tonight on FX. And remember, you can weigh in on all of your entertainment headlines by simply sending us a tweet at Ed City.